All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Merchant Center and then connect it to your Shopify store so that you can import all of the products very, very easily and then run either Google Shopping ads or show them in the organic results. So two things you're going to need to open. One is your Shopify admin and the second is Google Merchant Center. Now I'm going to assume you don't have a Google Merchant Center account. So I'm going to start right from the beginning with this account. So I'm going to hit start now. And now you would want to tick yes, sell product online so you need to include your store's website here so i'm going to paste mine in i'm going to hit no on this one hit continue now this just gives you an intro about where it's going to show your products i'm just going to continue now you want to type in the business name now this doesn't have to be the legal business name this is just the name of the shop like the trading name or whatever name you go under and now you go under registered country i'm going to untick these two and i'm going to hit continue to merchant center and now this is going to create us the account all right so now we've got the google merchant center account created now what we need to do is go into the shopify admin so you want to go into the store that you're going to connect and you want to go to online store now basically we want to add a sales channel which is the google and youtube channel so you would hit sales channels and you want to type in google and when you hit search, you're going to have to go to the app store and download the one called Google and YouTube. Now I've already got it installed. You're going to have to go do that. And then you're going to have to connect your Google account that you have the merchant center. And so I've already done that. You would just hit connect and then sign in with the account and it would connect it. So now once that's done, what you want to do is you need to make sure that you have fulfilled these requirements. So you need to add a payment method. You need to create the online store. You need to have a refund policy in terms of service. And now we just need to confirm this one that I've added contact information to my store. And once you've done that, you can now connect the Google Merchant Center account. So you'd want to select this from the drop down. I've only got this one. So that's the one I want to do. So I'm going to hit connect. And now once this connects, you're going to be able to import all the products, which I'm going to show you how to do as well. So it makes it super easy. And now our Merchant Center account is connected. And now we just need to verify our phone number. So I'm just going to get that done. Okay, so mine has shown up in error and didn't want to send the code as you can see here. So what I did is I went to the Merchant Center homepage and I found verify your phone number and I'm going to hit verify and now I'm going to type it in. So if you find the same thing happening, just go to the Merchant Center and do it this way. Okay, and I had to do the phone number verification because the text didn't work for whatever reason. Now that's done. So I'm going to reload. And now that I've reload, we can see that it's verified. So we're good to go here. So now what we can actually do is set up our product feed so that it sends all the products into the merchant center. So what we need to do is select the target country and language. So I'm going to leave these two because I am targeting United States and English. I'm going to hit save. Now shipping settings. I'm going to hit automatically import shipping information. If you want to do it manually in the merchant center, you can as well. I'm just going to do automatically so that it'll pull whatever's in Shopify into the merchant center. Hit save. Now we already have conversion tracking set up in the previous video. I set that up. So if you want to find out how to do that, you can go watch that video. I'm going to put a link up above that shows you how to set up all the conversion tracking. And now I'm just going to agree to the terms of service and hit complete setup. So now what's going to happen is Google is going to sync my products from my Shopify store to the merchant center. So we're going to have to wait a little bit for this to happen. Now you obviously need to have products in Shopify for this to be able to occur. I've got a couple of products I put in just for the example of this. So I'm going to let this sync and then we'll come back when it's done and I'll show you the products in the merchant center. All right. So I've waited some time now and now you can see that we've got three products and variants under pending and one not approved. And if we go into the merchant center as well and hit products, we can see that we now actually have our products here listed in the Google Merchant Center and the one not approved, which is test. So these are still under review. So Google's going to review them. However, you can see that the feed is live. Now you can see that all of the information has been pulled from Shopify, the price and all these other things here, the title, the images and everything else. So it's basically everything in here. Now, if you have an issue with some of your products, you can see view what needs attention in this tab here. And it's going to let you know if any of them got disapproved and why. Mine obviously got disapproved because just the test product. If Google for some reason doesn't like what you've added, they might disapprove it and you might have to fix it. Now, one thing you can do in Shopify, if you go back to the Shopify and we go manage products, we can actually manage our products in here to this feed. And so if, for instance, you don't want some products showing up in this feed, you can go here and you can actually deselect them from this list and then hit save. So for instance, I could remove the test one and then only allow those top three and hit save. And now this one won't actually show up in the Google Merchant Center. So this should now update on the Merchant Center side and remove the test one from that feed. 
Now, one other thing you can also do in the manage product section, if we scroll over to the right, you can see you've got all these different fields here. And so you can help Google along to display these correctly by filling in all of these. So for instance, age group, gender, obviously that's not applicable to what we're doing, but you can do product category as well. So you would need to find the category and type it in. So you can find a list of these categories. If we go to Google and type in Google merchant product categories, you'll be able to get a list of these as you can see here. And now you can get an Excel or a plain text version of this. So for instance, you, you could go to the plain text version and then find it. So for instance, minor automotive. So I would go down the list or you could just hit control F and go automotive. And then I could now select the exact part that I want. So mine is suspension. So I would want to take this and either copy this number or copy the category and put the category in here. So I'm going to just put that in there on these ones and hit save. And so that's just going to help the product display in the correct place. You can also do the condition, all these are new and so on. And you could go through and just fill out as many of these fields as you can, which will just help the products display correctly on Google. Now in the actual products as well, when you are actually in the product and you're publishing it, you can also adjust this. So if you go to this publishing box here, you can see that you've actually got the sales channel. So if you don't want it to publish in the Google and YouTube channel, which would be this feed, you can go manage sales channels and you can actually untick it and hit done. And then it's not going to publish it in that sales channel. So that's really it. Now the products are in the Google Merchant Center. And so the next step is if you're running ads, you'll now be able to connect that Merchant Center to the Google Ads account and run your Google Ads. So in the upcoming video, I'm gonna show you how to run Google Shopping Ads. So stay tuned for that one. Otherwise, if you'd like me to coach you on how to run profitable Google Ads or SEO for your Shopify store for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to run your Google Ads or SEO and help you with all of this for your Shopify store with guaranteed results, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with us there. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you on the next one.